Well, folks, everybody's losing right now. There's a video that I want to show you. Wait for the climax, wait for the plot twist, because what if I tell you, Sikas are getting sued as well. Yeah, lawsuits are being filed left and right. Everyone is getting ratioed right now. Like the video if you do not want woke crap in video games. Dislike the video if you love woke games. Uh, I want to see, like, where everybody's at. But, man, a lot of people are right now losing it. And... Like, a month ago, two months ago, nobody was talking about this crap. Yeah, sure, like, people would get mad, and rightfully so, people would get upset, rightfully so, and understandably so, whenever we would see, like, woke crap come into the video games, right? But it wasn't, like, everybody talking about that. Since the Sweet Baby Inc., now everybody's talking about it, and rightfully so, because, like, we're seeing the agenda being pushed down everyone right now, right? They are heterophobic, they're sexist, they're misogynistic, they don't they don't like women, right? They don't like straight gamers. They don't like straight men. They don't like white people. I personally am brown. I don't want to play... <laughs> I hate to play this race card right now. I don't want to be pulling that race card. But they are trying to divide literally everybody. Uh, happy Easter to all my Christian homies and everybody that celebrates. Guess what? Bioware, uh-oh. They don't like Easter. They don't like gamers, right? So they posted uh, today by saying, you thank you for subscribing. Today is transgender day of visibility. Friends, people have always been a part of our worlds. We're proud to support them both within our games and in real life. And then, uh, I mean, uh, they disabled the replies and they got ratioed. Uh, and everybody's just going crazy at them, like 14k likes. And there's a lot of other stuff that I can show you, but I cannot because we on YouTube right now. But it's like, holy crap, bro. They're, they didn't even make a single post about Easter. You feel what I'm saying? Like that—that that is absolutely insane to me, right? And then what? What you? What you see? In Demion, the homie in Demion came out, and uh, apparently he's a cynical man making YouTube videos. Uh, finally, I mean, love his uh, work absolutely. Here's the black girl gamer cease and desist that Valiant posted publicly. Wait for it. I got a video that I want to show you. Please take a look and let me know what you think. Thank you. And he ended up getting like this uh, uh, cease and desist. So literally because seconds are talking about it, they're getting cease and desist. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Freedom of speech literally don't exist. Okay. Uh, obviously this is a cease and desist, right? This is not necessarily like a law. I mean, it's a lawsuit. This is what happens before you get sued, right? If he does not come comply with it he can get sued he or she can get sued right don't don't, don't want to assume genders here guys but what the actual f but uh wait for this one roll it recently there's been a lot of conversation about microsoft who was recently exposed for urging developers to not create female yeah. characters with exaggerated body proportions or yeah most people are aware of like what's happening with stellar blade and i think it's beautiful that everyone's talking about it but wait for it uh wait for it guys. curvy there's figures now this has led a lot of people to look at other employees at xbox including this individual named kelly who is the global games marketing person here for xbox and you can see their account is currently private because they've been getting backlash for this yeah. stinker they made a few days ago yep. a tweet <laughs> stating raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games no hate to white dudes it's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities Bruh. have to fight to prove they exist ah yes another inflammatory and divisive yeah. tweet made by someone in the gaming industry when they could have simply stated yeah. generally about gamers without having to single out people based on the color of their skin or their gender yeah and all of these seconds want to play like phobic phobic and if you guys are gonna play phobic phobic we can also play phobic phobic as well man like the video if you think this is heterophobic like the video if you think this is racist i mean it's literally racism right there at its finest bro like, come on, dog. Like, they always want to play this, right? But and so if they can, if they want to play play this, we can also play this game. Like, literally, they're racist towards white people. They're racist towards straight people as well. They're heterophobic, rather, to straight people, straight gamers. You you, you know what I mean? Now, of course, this talk about an Xbox employee has raised some other related uh -oh. conversations about other members of Xbox and their greater business, and this has to do with Compulsion Games. We talked oh, about no. this account before. They are an Xbox studio based in Montreal, and oh, they are man. working on the... Oh, guys, I, I do apologize on their behalf. Uh, guess what? I am also in Montreal, man. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> ah, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on, man? Okay, listen, man. Like, yeah, I'm all up for diversity, strong, independent, they, them. And as a man who has also changed his pronouns, Bruh. I'm no longer Skizzle, guys. I'm Skizzle Axie. 
My pronouns are they, them, and as a big ass, brown, beautiful ass man, I demand for this crap to be stopped immediately. Like the video if you agree, but like, here's the thing, right? Listen, diversity, nobody's against that. Most people are genuinely like, hey, live and let live. People are not against like people, LGB people, right? Like if you identify as whatever, a tag chopper, we don't care. Just do not like shove that trash down our throats, right? You feel what I'm saying? Just like how we are not telling you what to do, you are doing it for yourself. I mean, we're like, fine, do it. And it's like, most people are like, live and let live. And most people are like, okay, if you want to make your woke games, make your own woke games, right? Why inject your politics, your woke narrative into games that are already made? Games that have uh, franchises, right? Ready-made franchises that nobody had problems with, that people always love, gamers love to begin with. Why are you trying to ruin already made franchises with your own narrative, with your own woke ass agenda? Why? G go create your own games that are woke and you know what? I would have more respect for you. and. That would cater to, you know, a specific audience, like the LGB crowd, the woke crowd, right? And you know what? They're gonna buy your game and they're gonna support you. They're gonna love your game as well. And you know what? I'm all up for that. Like, make your own games rather than injecting all that crap into franchises that are already made. Like the video figure. Game South of Midnight. Now, we saw one of their previous tweets, we covered this Wait in a it. video a few weeks ago, where they made some very, let's just say, woke tweets here, stating that many uh -oh. video games are the Not product good of the times they were created in. As we look to recreate and remaster these stories for modern audiences, it's important to consider the implications of these harmful portrayals. A uh, modern audience act means a uh, gay. That's, uh, that's what it means, uh, and it's important. And guys, before we get into it, I, I before I forget, I want to say I have a secondary channel. This is where we upload UFO content, uh, paranormal content, conspiracy stuff. If you're into that content, it would be a pleasure to have you right there. Definitely subscribe. All right, let's get back to the normal content here, boo-boo do our part to rewrite new history not repeat it that's right you yeah, need to rewrite, rewrite problematic themes out of stories that's the job of someone working under the wing of xbox well yeah and it's like tomb raider right like listen i love tomb raider bro i i do i do right but these things when i say nah you're misogynistic you're misog that's misogyny you are sexist Brad, we love we love women, bro. We love it. Brad. We love women, Brad. Like we wanna see strong, independent, but actual strong, independent, not like strong, independent, fearless, no one, no men, not that kind of crap. Us hetero folks, we love female characters in our video games, right? And Tomb Raider is a lot of people's favorite franchise. Uh, I mean, you you wonder, right? You, I mean, take a guess, right? Everybody loves Tomb Raider, but. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Lara Croft gets a PP in the, the next game, bruh. Add this well, raid, bro. Probably does no surprise to you to find out that Compulsion Games is a Sweet Baby Inc. client. Now, moving Holy forward, you can see Mark Kern here saying the community manager at Compulsion Games, the studio that race swapped their MC after Sweet Baby Inc. involvement, says she hates gamers <laughs> and says Asians are white adjacent. Oh, now, that's some pretty man. crazy things. Now, we've covered some of this, but there's some new tweets coming from this community manager at Compulsion Games named Pika. Let's see some of her greatest hits. This first uh -oh. one is sharing that she's proud to announce that she is working as their community manager right next to a tweet saying Asian and white, aka white adjacents. That's a very odd thing to say to call Asian people white adjacent, but let's continue through some of her more uh, great hits here. Yeah. Another one saying, honestly, I hate gamers. Yeah. That's odd for some. We, we know, we know, brother. Uh, we know, or sister, or I don't know, uh, brother, sister, everybody in between. We, we know. We, we under we know bro like yeah you guys you think is clearly <laughs> you think is clearly hate gamers this is not news this is not we have been known this for a while man games and listen I, I know like guys woke is a big problem in gaming but it's not the entire thing we have a lot of other factors as well dei diversity inclusive uh, d diversity and inclusivity and all of this crap yeah surely is a problem because they are hiring people based on their color and gender rather than the actual talent and obviously if you're gonna hire somebody that's not a gamer that doesn't even know what the the audience truly wants then obviously like the games are not gonna turn out 
for not, not gonna turn out good for gamers right the toxic gamers in their own words right uh yeah we, we need to we need to uh, end all gamers right uh, a tweet that we had uh, recently from a bbc reporter not talking about like this uh bbc the friendly uav online the actual bbc british broadcasting channel here Bruh. guys we, we know you guys hit gamers working in this field Here's another one saying white male gamers were a mistake. Oh yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. And here's another one you might have noticed. Every single screenshot, there's a different profile picture. The only thing more erratic than her tweets is her profile pictures that seem to change every single week. But nonetheless, here's another tweet quoting someone. Uh, thank you for subscribing, appreciate it. Talking about the scum of the industry and the terrible people in the video game industry, where she says, we also need to be very honest about the elephant in the room. The majority of the perpetrators are white slash white adjacent cishet men. I gotta ask, what the F is wrong with y'all? And of course, based on her previous tweets, that's, that's not just white people, that's white adjacent people like Asians and I don't know, maybe Hispanic people as well. Who knows? We're gonna have to wait for Katie to clarify what yeah. she means by white adjacent on the greater scheme of all the races. But moving forward, of course, she has another profile picture change uh -oh. and a private of her account once she uh -oh. is facing criticism for these. That, that's not good here, guys. That's not good. Recent and historical tweets from her account. Now, you may be asking yourself, uh, what's going on here? Why are all these woke people in the games industry? And, and listen, they say that gamers are racist. Bro, let me tell you one thing. Gamers don't care. R seriously. We just want to play games and we hang out with people that are cool to us. White, purple, black, brown, nobody gives a F. Nobody cares uh, if you're atheist or you're religious. Nobody cares about your religion. If you have a good character, okay? Doesn't matter what religion, doesn't matter what's your what your race is or eth uh, what your ethnicity is. Nobody gives a damn. We play games and we play with people that also love games and we play with people that are cool that we can you know socialize with nobody gives a damn about it it's you guys that want to divide everybody it's you guys that are actually racist it's you guys that hate women it's you guys that hate gamers it's you guys that hate hetero hetero people like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree so aggressively racist why are these people making such bold claims and divisive claims, separating gamers based on their skin, trying to put them in different categories and demonize some people based on the color of their skin. It's very concerning. Well, a lot of it has to do with the fact that organizations like this, black girl gamers, have existed for a long time with no question. Now, this is, of course, a group that only allows women of color to be in this organization. Mm. Now, of course, you know the very easy way and to- And to, uh, to a lot of people, that's perfectly fine, right? Like, you uh, you guys can have your own group. That's not the problem. The problem becomes when you make that group and you uh, actually want to inject your own narrative into the games where you are all, all about black girl gamers, which is fine, right? But it's like, you're gonna be injecting your own narrative and you're gonna be like nah everybody else is bad and we don't want to have everyone else a and before you guys are like hey man that's pretty racist bro i'm a brown man and i have changed my pronouns to they them all right okay i'm no longer skizzle i'm skizzle axie i'm susan x also known as susan they they strong independent i'm a strong independent beautiful ass brown ass man with a big ass on top and with a big bbc as well guys with a friendly 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 uav online all right so it's coming from a guy that has a friendly uav online all right point out the hypocrisy here is to ask yourself would they tolerate a group called white boy gamers I don't oh, think yeah. so. Oh but man, like if, uh, yeah, like, okay, okay, yeah, on that one, oh yeah, we, they gonna have a problem if we had white boy gamers. But there's been a lot of controversy with this group recently because people are talking about this and saying, well, do they allow, let's say, a white person to join their business? Well, things got very interesting when black girl gamers made this viral tweet stating, uh -oh. we're addressing the recent allegations published on thatparkplace.com about discriminatory hiring practices within black girl gamers. These claims are false and were made without prior fact checking or verification from us or our representatives. Part one out of eight. Now, of course, this entire tweet is the Streisand effect, okay? It's just like. What the F? Part one out of eight? Damn, homie! Damn, me! Like, eight parts? That's crazy! So we got like seven more sequels lined up? It's just like the uh, Sweet Baby Inc. detected Steam group that went from a small group to a massive group because people in the games industry complained about it. And that's the same case with this website and its article. They are they're complaining about an article 
probably very few people would have seen in the first place, and now it's been exposed with a direct link to 2.2 million viewers. And of course, now more people are checking out this article than they ever would have before this thread was made. But continuing on, I mean, what kind of crazy allegations are they making up? The name of your organization is Black Girl Gamers. Yeah. I think it's pretty obvious who you're going to hire in your organization. Not to mention the fact that on their official website, they mention that they're 100% minority operated. And as many other people have pointed out, that might be illegal. And continuing forward, they have said this in the same thread. Upon uh -oh. discovering these false and defamatory allegations, we have taken steps to obtain legal, legal counsel, counsel to take yeah. action against the publication. Uh, go Queen, Go Queens. <laughs> And yo, yeah, yo, this yo, is yo, uh, yo, what yo. they're apparently talking about. Yeah, lawsuits, everybody. You get sued. You get sued. <laughs> everybody gets sued. I mean, I get it. Like in America, sickers can get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction. But like, damn, Bruh. homie. Damn, homie. Like, what the. Okay, seriously, what the actual hell is going on in gaming, bro? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Don't we have, like, any good news? There is no good news happening in gaming other than this bull crap. Bro, yeah, I, I don't get it. I really don't understand. I know this has been ongoing for a while, but, like, now they have ramped up to 11, you know, you feel what I'm saying? And journalists, as well as subsequent content creators who have reshared the false allegations about our organization. Ooh, very Ooh. scary stuff. Ooh. Now, likely this is a bluff to scare people because... What exactly are they saying that's so deflammatory and why would you spread their message while saying it's harmful? Makes no sense. But you see someone like Legal insane. Mindset, an actual attorney, weighing in on the situation saying, the most insane thing here is that the company in question has likely made statements about other parties that are closer to defamation than those of the news outlet. There is zero chance this hits the actual malice, malice standard. standard for defamation. Yeah. And beyond that, opening up that particular company to discovery may yield some dirty laundry that they do not want yep. to come to light. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It is it is crazy that actual lawyers right now are jumping <laughs> are jumping in and trying to like <laughs> it's cool guys. <laughs> it's not going to go through. I mean, obviously like there uh seconds are saying 0% chance that the actual lawsuit goes in, but if it does, I also don't think it's going to go uh first of all, but could you imagine, right? The lawsuit that they they filed. Could you imagine like the judge accepts this? right and then we have uh, the guy that was uh, sent this lawsuit to uh, their voice is silenced because black girl gamers didn't like what they had to say could you imagine like the lawsuit actually goes through that that would be the end of free speech that would be the end literally as we as we know it bro and of course he is referring to black girl gamers because if they get involved in the situation many products of their their work will be exposed. That includes things like some of their files, their emails, their communications, yeah. things that they probably Everything. don't want to see come out in a court case and potentially go. And this would be bigger than Johnny Depp case, right? And we're going to see like Asmund Gold, like the homie Asmund is going <laughs> to, everybody's going to be reacting. Everybody's going to be live streaming. So yeah, I get it. Like it's going to be a good content in a way for a lot of people in gaming because there is nothing going on in gaming right now. Other than, yeah, we had good games. And guys, like I, I think I'm going to be saying this, is, uh, I'm going to be saying this a lot in the future videos as well but it's the goddamn honest truth it seriously feels like that everybody that has gotten big in the gaming industry i'm talking about like the publishers and the studios we're all seeing the shift towards microtransactions uh the woke bull squash as well and, and everybody that's like small i'm talking about like double a no disrespect though i fully respect uh, indie devs like you know stellar blade hell divers right uh, and i believe that I, I could be wrong but xbox also had a game like hi-fi rush so these are and paul world as well these are the games that are made by indie devs no disrespect these people have my full support right now and i fully respect that the fact that they're actual gamers and they are making games for gamers right and uh, we're, we're noticing and we're seeing a shift where small companies and indie devs are the ones that are making games that have soul that are good without any politics and without any woke politics as well but everyone that has gotten big they're just pushing this big time uh, for esg Public. blackrock and now moving forward and we saw a lot of people starting to defend black girl gamers and we'll also cover a lot of the backlash but we have this quote with the replies turned off as per usual saying it's incredibly telling that the quote tweets are once again full of knuckle dragging bigoted white men sorry in real quotes gamers. real gamers who do nothing but try to fight progress in the gaming space. It's pathetic. BGG don't owe anyone any kind of statement or apology. 
as you quote retweet. Yeah, uh, they, they, yeah, just send season and desist, go Queens. Their eight part public statement that they voluntarily made. Interesting. Crazy. Here's bro. another one saying, Crazy. once again, it is the white and non-black side of gaming that insists on erasing the work that black orgs such as BGG have done to create a safer and diverse environment. Interesting. Creating a safer and more diverse environment. Man. By dividing people based on the color yeah. of their skin. Yeah. Amazing. This is pushing people away rather than bringing them together. And seriously, gamers really don't give a damn about your skin color. Gamers don't care. Uh, on Call of Duty, yeah, the voice chat can be a little bit too hectic, but for the most part, everybody knows, like, nobody really means that. Like, everybody is going crazy, but generally speaking, like, we're all playing with people that are cool. We don't look for what his skin color is, what his religion is, what his race is or ethnicity. We just play games with people that we vibe with, and we just want to play good games. Leave the gamers alone. And guys, recently this just happened. We had Dr. Disrespect, okay? He calls out a massive cheater in Call of Duty. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, this video is on my second channel. This is a UFO video that we recently uploaded on the second channel. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.